Hello everybody, my name is Super Scroll, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke Randomizer. That sounds kind of weird to say without Emerald, but yeah, Silver Eyes, oh, my voice sounds all weird now, hold on. <clears throat> uh, obviously I'm recording this on the same day as the first episode, because I said I was bringing you two episodes. And, uh, so this is the second one, I probably still sound a little bit sick. Um, so yeah, so I figured out a name for the Chikorita that we chose here, I will name it. Oh, I forgot to do something. Hold on, I meant to change one of the settings in this uh, thing, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I just changed one of the control settings so that it's more comfortable for me. Anyway, so I decided I'm going to name this Chikorita. Um, Sil... Sylvanus. After the Roman god for uh, woodlands and forests. Is it Sylvanus or Sylvanus? I don't know. I'm gonna say Sylvanus. Anyway, so, he's telling us to go. If your Pokemon get hurt, heal it with this machine over here. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up, like you're... Never mind. I think if you guys have a dirty of mind like mine, you will know exactly what I was referring to there when he says, Call if something comes up. Yeah. So you can hear your Pokemon here. This dude will be like, STOP! IN THE NAME OF LOVE! Scroll. I want you to have this for your errand. So you only get a potion from him. So this is where you get the potion other than, uh, I mean, besides the, uh, the, the, the PC. Because you don't get a PC at your house. You get the potion here instead. Anyway, you walk out here and you'd be like, Whoo, it's a new area. It's Route 29. So obviously we can't get your Pokemon here yet. I am gonna, I totally forgot and blanked on explaining what Nuzlocke is if you, in case you didn't watch my Pokemon. Emerald Nuzlocke Randomizer. It's basically gonna be the exact same rules, the exact same stuff. And luckily, I didn't run into any Pokemon there. But even if I did, I'm gonna come back when I have Pokeballs and I'm capable of catching Pokemon. So, I suppose I should. Oh yeah. By the way, if I fast forward, I can't fast forward anything. So any training I'll do, I'm actually cut out because if I fast forward, it basically goes from 100% to like what 3,000% or something like that. Let me check. Okay, no. See how fast that was, guys? And I got poisoned already. Wow. Yep. This is the dick of this game is. Anyway, and I'm poisoned. Holy crap, I'm gonna die in the beginning. Yep. So basically, when I fast forward, it goes to 4,000% from 100%. So that's 40 times faster. So, obviously, I, I'll try to avoid doing that. I did it just now, just to show you what battle would be like like that. So, um, I'm gonna obviously head back down. That ledge actually doesn't look like you can jump down it from the top. I get okay, confused there. Let me just check my Pokemon to make sure I have enough. I don't. I don't even want to chance this. I'm already going to go ahead and use the potion before I've gotten anywhere in life. And go back to Professor Elm. So that we can heal the poison because this is annoying. This game actually is... I never liked this uh, this generation. Uh, gold, Silver, Crystal. I like the, the, the remake a little bit. I mean... Not as much as the other games that I like, like Fire Red and Emerald and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I never really liked this as much. But then I started playing it a lot, and I know I love it. This is probably my second favorite ge generation, then. Silver I like a little bit better than, uh, than, uh, Gold, because I, I prefer Lugia. But yeah, that's just my preference. You can get both anyway, so what's really the difference? And again, I get paralyzed. Really great. By the way, whatever starter you start off with, we'll start off with a berry. So, uh, if your HP gets low, it'll automatically heal in battle. Obviously, in the overworld, you don't use the berries. That's why I used the potion to heal when I was poisoned, because... Because, yeah, because I wouldn't be able to heal, and I had really low health. Of course I'm fully paralyzed. So, Venice doesn't actually know anything good. So, yeah. This is taking way too long. I'm gonna run. Why didn't I do this from the beginning? And the sound sounds really messed up when I fast forward, eh? Anyway. Hey, I just said, hey, I'm Canadian, of course. Uh, but yeah. But, oh my god, my throat is like, oh, mwah. But this is what you do when you record when you're sick. But still, I wanted to bring you guys something up there, actually. Which is worth getting. Forget you, Spinarak, and the fast forwarding is gonna just. I'm so. don't wanna do it, but. 
yeah, you get a potion here, so... <coughs> I still didn't uh, explain Nuzlocke and uh, Randomizer. Randomizer obviously randomizes the wild Pokemon. Nuzlocke is the challenge, basically, you apply to your self-imposed rules that basically make it as a root up there. No, it doesn't make it as a root up there, but it makes it so, uh... You can only catch the Pokemon that you first get on each route. You can only catch one Pokemon per route. That is the first Pokemon that you uh, see. If you, if you kill it or you run from it, you can't get another Pokemon on that route. I use the rule that you can catch a Pokemon in grass that in that one route or like, wherever. And if you're in the cave, then I guess on the ground or whatever it's called. And once by surf by means of surfing or fishing. So once on the water, once on the grass per route slash area. That's my rule that I use. To catching Pokemon. So, um, up here there's a tree. It's a fruit bearing tree. It's a berry. You get a berry. These come back every day. So, if they come back tomorrow, because I set the date to be uh, Thursday, if I come back on Friday, then another berry will have grown there. So, uh, yeah, so Nuzlocke. Then that second rule is the if your Pokemon dies, it is gone for good. Like, completely gone. You have to put it in a box. It's uh, you, you'll never use the Pokemon in that box again, or, uh... Cherry Grove City to New Bark Town, okay, yeah. Or, uh, you have to release it. I will put it in a box by, so that by the end of, uh, Let's Play, I'll be able to show you all the Pokemon that I lost. And this dude here, if you talk to him, he'll be like, show you around town. For the, for the sake of the Let's Play, I'll do it, but you don't really need to. In the remake, they make... Oh my god, my voice is... <coughs> Hold on, guys. It sounds so messed up. I'm sorry for this. But yeah, you're a Ricky trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a Ricky. At some point, if, you, if you'd if you like, I can teach you a few things. Oh, you get an option. Okay, we'll go for yes. Okay, then follow me. So here's show you the Pokemon Center, obviously, where you hear your Pokemon. Um, in the remake, it's if once you cross him, you have to uh, you have to talk to him, and he has to show you all the stuff, because at the end of it, um, he has to explain the Pokemon, you buy stuff there, you buy his balls there, I mean Pokeballs, Route 30 is the way out, trainer will be battling there, prize Pokemon there, blah blah blah, and then he goes, this is the sea, as you can see, some Pokemon are found only in water, that's actually the joke I, I sort of made in my the channel description, I'm just like, a super scroll with the sea, not a KSC, you see? So yeah, that's a joke, and I, it's my house, thank you for your company, let me give you a small gift, he'll give you the map card, in the remake, he will give you the map card, and he will also give you the running shoes, that's why it's necessary to talk to him, so that you actually get the running shoes, um, but yeah, that's generally what happens, and, uh, yeah, so I explain the rules in Nuzlocke, just through, oh, the third rule, yes, it's, it's, it's an optional rule, basically, but it's the rule that most uh, Nuzlocke players live by. They uh, nickname all your Pokemon that you catch, so that's uh, clearly something you want to do. Get a potion. Okay. Oh, yeah. Something about this game is when you're in the... See, I only have 3,000 uh, Poké Dollars up there. In this game, like in other games, they will uh, they'll be like, you hit the down button from one. And it'll tell you, it'll take you to the max number of potions or whatever item uh, what you can buy at that point with the money you have. In this, there's no limit. 99 potions will cost me 29,700 poker dollars. I only have 3,000, but the game doesn't want to like incorporate that, so it's just like you can still. So you, you basically can't do that as a trick to get as many as you can. You have to actually go and look up and count and do math and stuff because you just keep going for, until you get to 99. <coughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy three for now. Maybe I'll buy an antidote because I am weak to poison. For two. It's good to have items that will heal you most of the time because so that you'll, you'll be able to like be prepared for what's coming. Anyway, yeah. So, that's the potion stuff and my Pokemon actually is the same level it was when I first caught it and I really need to do some leveling up but obviously I can't fast forward and leveling up with a level 5 Pokemon in a Nuzlocke is easy but also challenging because the Pokemon in this area are like I'll poison you and I'll paralyze you and you'll be like my bitch forever so I'm gonna have to cut in it now I'll come back with my Pokemon to like at least level 10 maybe and I'll be right back guys alright guys so I'm back I trained my Pokemon to uh, level 10 like I said I was gonna do it's uh 
It's about to level up again, actually, to level 11. And also learn Razor Leaf, so that's good. And, uh, I forgot to mention, which is something important, really, that, uh... <coughs> that the, the Pokerus, which is a Pokevirus, was introduced into this game, which basically doubles all the EVs you get from any Pokemon. EVs are the effort values you get for them, so, like, battling certain Pokemon will give you, uh, certain values that when you level up, you will, uh, get more in that certain stat. If you battle a Pokemon that gives you HP, uh, EVs, when you, level, when you level up, you'll get more uh, plus HP, obviously. So that doubles the EVs you get from each Pokemon that you battle, which is really good. You can obviously, uh... I explained this in my Emerald Nuzlocke, but I'll do it again in this, obviously, because some of you might not have watched it, again, like I said. Anyway, so uh, basically, um... That's a Berry, the berry Dude or Berry Master, whatever. Nah, bro, ooh. Anyway, yeah, so... Basically, uh, it doubles that, and uh, it goes usually about after two days, it, you uh, lose the virus. But if you want to keep it, you can put it, your, your Pokemon in the Pokemon, in the PZ, and uh, it'll then the virus will have to stay there forever, and there's no curing from it. And basically, it's uh, it can be spread to other team members by, by directly being next to them. <coughs> My voice is really dry and sore and stuff. But anyway, yeah, being right next to them will get you, uh... The Pokemon better to be spread, so that all Pokemon can be uh, benefit from it. Except the chance of gaining a Pokemon with the Pokevirus is... Or the Pokerus, is actually it's called, is, um, like, 3 out of 65,500 and some odd number. It's ridiculously low chance. It's like one third the chance of getting a shiny Pokemon is getting a Pokemon with Pokerus. Plus the fact that you don't actually know it's Pokerus when it's in the wild. When it, you know when you catch a shiny, when you see a shiny Pokemon, you know it's shiny because it sparkles. But a Pokerus, uh, uh, an uh, infected Pokemon basically is uh, you don't know if you catch it and you go to the the Pokemon Center, the nurse will be like, "There's a tiny organism on your Pokemon." That blah blah blah, and that's how you know that it has the Pokerus because Pokerus is a tiny organism on your Pokemon that does whatever. So this is a uh, the Pokey whatever his Pokemon. I don't remember his name was. Sorry guys, I'm just not up to this, but I have to do it for you guys. So you get the mystery egg, and there's another dude in here. He's like, who's that dude? And you'll be like, what? My assumption is correct. Professor M will know it. Oak! Aha! So you're a squirrel. Oh my god, Oak does the aha. Remember in Fire Red where he's just like... He laughs for whatever reason. He's like, aha! These are three Pokeballs on the ball on the table there. So this is Oak doing his aha. Wasn't he the guy talking to us at the beginning anyway? I totally forgot to point that out. It wasn't Professor Elm that was talking to us. I'm pretty sure it was... That's the dude's name, Mr. Pokemon. Yeah. So the guy talking to us at the beginning, the professor was actually Professor Oak, was it not? I'm pretty sure it wasn't Elm. It might have been, I don't know. I understand. So, this dude will be like, you're running errands for them. Well, you must be good Pokemon friends, blah blah blah. You should eat with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? So then he'll be like, um, I'll pull down my pants, we can go in the corner and, uh... Ye no, you can have the Pokedex and you can automatically record Pokemon data like I've always wanted you to do for me. I got my own, uh, chop back in... back in, uh, Kanto for me, actually. That's what Oak's saying right now, he's like, I don't need you, kid. Don't worry about it. I got my friend back in, uh, Kanto. What was his name again? Terry? Yeah, that's what his name was. He's out of run up now. You know what that means? I'm even dirty. I don't know. I just forget that. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah. But he's like, uh, I have to go back to Goldenrod where I have my radio station or whatever. So this guy will heal your Pokemon, obviously. <coughs> and Professor Rome calls you. What? Uh, hello? Scroll? It's a disaster! Um, um, it's just terrible! What should I do? Uh, it, uh, oh no! Please get back here now! Click! And then it's like, the line went dead! Someone's killing it, Professor Elm! No, just kidding, he just clicked to hang up. Anyway, I love the way these, uh, flowers look in the game. They're just, like, boxes that are moving back and forth. They're not even real flowers. They're just boxes with, like, a circle in the middle of them. The sprite for them are legitimately... legitimately? Legitimately, just boxes. But yeah. That life you choose to be a flower in a bad graphical game. Or bad graphical era. I don't know. So this dude's gonna be like, if you guys try to come up here, there'll be like people battling, they'll be like, you can't pass. Go Rattata. Ta oh, I'm not a Rattata's. 
I still hate Rattatas for when they killed my, uh, my Bulby back in, uh, Pokemon Fire Red. If you haven't watched that, go check that out, obviously. But yeah, the Rattata level 2 killed my Bulby, my bubble, my bubble Sword, with just the beginning of the game. That was stupid. But anyway, we're gonna head back there, and what? The red headed -like jerk dude that kicked me, and he was staring into the professor lab thing. Dot, dot, dot. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste, a wimp like you. Don't you get the, what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. I have, I, obviously, I have to figure out a voice for him. The one I just squeezed right there was really quiet, so I probably won't use that again because it's probably really hard to hear. And it'll be like, some, some, some wants the battle. Some, some, some sent out Cyndaquil. He's got the really badass Pokemon right now. We don't get the badass Pokemon, but I think we can still win. Yeah, so he'll obviously pick the, he's a rival, so he'll obviously pick the Pokemon that's uh looks strong against yours that you're weak to. He won't be too hard to take him down because I'm way over leveled, but I mean you can't be too quick, careful in those locks, obviously. I've studied this many times before. And critical hit at the end when it's useless. This is what the let's play is all about. The let's play curse is all about crits when you don't need it. And something 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 was defeated. Hmm. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Skrull got 300 uh, poke dollars for win. Why do I sound so bad? Oh god, I can even hear it in my own voice. That's really, really bad. Anyway, in the, in the remake, his name is not the question mark, question mark, question mark. It's like stranger random child thing. I don't know, but it's, it doesn't say it's, it's way more like smooth text. That it's, my name's question mark, question mark, question mark. Like seriously, I'm gonna do the world's greatest. What? You're gonna do the world's greatest Pokemon? Trainer, okay, you're gonna go up to him and no, I'm just kidding. He wants to be the world's greatest thing trainer, Pokemon trainer. There you go. Anyway, yeah, there's actually you ever, guys ever heard of Murphy's law? It's basically is anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Murphy obviously came up with this way. It's his law, and it's a law, which is funny because theories mean uh, they can be disproven, and it's just what people think as thus this far in time. But a law means this cannot be disproven because this is the truth of everything. And Umbreon, awesome. Anyway, yeah, so that's basically, uh, that's what a law is, so basically this law means that it's true that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. That is unfortunately, sadly true, and I learned Reflect, also. That's sadly true in my case, where, like, the laptop thing, first of all, I couldn't buy the RAM because it wasn't there, then I went back and I bought it, and my computer broke, then I had to lose everything, then I thought if I took it out, it would change and I would get everything back. And I have to redo it anyway. And of course, factory resending it takes like three hours. <laughs> I sound so ridiculous. I should really get some water or something. I'll be right back, guys. I don't even know what I sound like. I, I know I sound ridiculous though. So, um, I should just finish off this episode now. I've already been 18 minutes of recording. Basically, Murphy's law. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, then I thought I would be like fix it by taking out the RAM, and it didn't work. So I put the RAM back in, and then I have to get all my stuff back, and I lost all my view. And, and that's like beyond everything that can go wrong will go wrong that's like infinity can go wrong therefore it does i don't even know that will be a new law that i've invented for the sake of this channel and all of his future endeavors is scrolls law no matter what happens to you it's always bad that is the law okay no matter what happens to you it is always bad in every case king with the ram i had to walk in uh in the rain for 20 minutes or whatever um that's when I first wanted to get my RAM, then I had to install the RAM, that totally messed crap up, and I couldn't do it, then I have to, like, do this, and I lost all my saves in Emerald, and uh, level 2 Rattat, I killed my Bulbasaur in Fire Red, and Minecraft number 1 was a learning experience, failure, learning experience, um, and Skylock was all gone, and everything just crazy crap had happening, and in Fire Red, obviously, those glitches kept on happening with my ROM, and it was gonna have to use cheats to fix it, and then cheats obviously make the game glitch even more. Oh my god, it's just... Anything that happens to you is bad. That is my law. That's Scrolls Law, copyright, trademark, mine. Alright, but you guys feel free to use it in your daily lives, because at least I'll be getting support in some way. Don't forget to mention where you got it from, at least. You know, you gotta cite your resources, you gotta cite your sources, you gotta... So you don't copyright and plagiarize and crap the stuff you teach you in high school. See you guys next time for Let's Play Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke Randomizer.